Hello dear friends and welcome again to Just a Glimpse with Wesleyan David Allen, Matthew 6, 19 and 20. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, where thieves do not break in and steal. Now these two statements, they seem simple enough, but let's just look at them for a moment. They are comparing and contrasting the things of this world with the things of God. Heaven and earth. And it says that the things of this earth are temporary. They do not last. They are subject to loss and decay that mock and rust eat and destroy these things. Not only that, but the things of this world are a target for violent men that thieves break in and steal these things. But it is not so with the things of God. They are eternal and they are located in heaven above where there is no loss and no decay. So how then? How do we store up treasure? in heaven? Well, the answer is located in the next verse. Verse 21. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So if we can set our heart on things above, Things that are surrounding Christ Jesus in glory, then that is where our culture will be. Then we will be rich to God. Money and power and position are here today and gone tomorrow. I'm sure that you have all heard horror stories on the United States currency that it is not worth the paper that it is printed on, that the American dollar is fake. It's just a matter of time before this bubble bursts. And it's not just the U.S. The Bible tells us that the world economy is going to collapse. But I'm not telling you this to see you with end time prophecy. I just want to point you 
to something that will last. Eternal treasure in Christism. This is Reverend David Allen with just a glimpse saying be blessed, be blessed, and be blessed.